when I did the Mad Cat Mark II video, I mentioned that Assault Mac is much more of a damage dealer rather than a tank. And now I'm piloting the Atlas DDC, which is kind of the opposite. You know, it's still a uh, an assault mech. You know, it's a 100 tonner, so it can fit a decent number of weapons. But this is meant to be a more defensive setup. It's got an ECM. It's the only Atlas, if I'm not mistaken, that has ECM. And unlike most mechs where I take ECM to help cover my teammates, in this case, the ECM is really more for myself because the atlas is just a slow mech no matter what you do with it you want that ecm to help you survive you know to help you get to the battlefield um, while being you know noticed far less and you know without having so many missiles raining on your head i start to make a fairly common mistake right here you know i poke up uh, see some enemies i take my shot and back up but i go straight back down that very narrow ramp Target spotted. And so that means I'm completely blocking this ramp, which I realize here, and so I go forward again and move off to the right. That way, if anyone else needs to use it, they'll back up. They don't have, you know, my fat ass in the way. And so I go around and uh, try to find some other targets. Looks like they've got a, a disconnect. Target acquired. And I don't know if it was my positioning or really what caused this but this was a weird match we did not go to the center of the map and dance around the volcano like you normally do on this map we actually kind of just hung out here for the majority of, of the fight Acquired. you can see a little bit of my team is uh, you know off behind me but uh, most of us are kind of in this area or converging on the you know like the c4 and c3 areas Here's where I finally start doing some actual work. You know, I've chopped off half of that annihilator weapons in one volley. And this is a fairly hot build, especially since I was firing the lasers to begin with. Okay. So I overheat myself. Um, but thankfully, with this being a pretty durable mech, you know, I managed to survive being shut down in front of a number of uh, enemy mechs. Target acquired. But since there were too many there to keep staring down, I decide to go off to the right and see what I can find. Because again, I've got ECM, so they're going to kind of forget about me, even though I'm huge. And here's where I do something that I I can never quite decide if I should be doing or not. Um, so we've got this little either stealth or ECM mech. I, I think it's a stealth flea. So it's very tiny and very fast, and I've only got lasers, really, that are going to be able to track it. So I try to deter it from, you know, getting behind us. Clean them up. But at the same time, that means I'm not bringing my uh, real firepower to the fight. So I kind of decide to just ignore it and hope that someone else takes it all. You know, because I, I announced in chat that we had an ECM mech, you know, in that area. Clean them up. Allies behind you. Yes, you got Why you not pushing? Target spotted. Lima, Lima. So at this point, we have killed nearly all of them, you know, it's uh, it's just mopping up at this point. And it looks like their disconnect uh, came back. Target spotted. I, uh, I tagged them earlier, which is, you know, kind of what I like to do, like I've said before, you know, just tag them. So that way, if they get killed and you don't get another chance to shoot them, you'll still get partial credit for them. But now that he's here, you know, I'm just unloading my firepower on him, and so are a number of our other mechs. So I grabbed that kill, and... Uh, I'm kind of trying to get this commando, but I've also got, you know, some smaller, faster allies around, so... Yeah, I'm trying to avoid the team damage. Now this part is kind of funny. So, I mentioned before this, you know, build... Or you saw before, if nothing else, that this build runs fairly hot. And I had just overheated, you know, killed myself. Uh, and then... Wait a few seconds here, you'll see what happens to that same Corsair. Yeah, yeah, your map low signal. Here he is. So now that Corsair that caused me to overheat uh, was surrounded and just firing all weapons, and you know he overheated himself. Good job. Buddy. So now the match is wrapped up. Uh, it was it was pretty nice, you know, very short. Uh, 
good win, and no, back, what's, uh, what was kind of cool, another first, I think, for MWO, at least that I remember, is that I both dealt and received the same damage, 743 in both cases. Got three kills, uh, destroyed 10 components. I love that. I will take that all day, every day. When you look at the, the numbers on this match, though, I think it was just kind of two terrible teams coming together, and sort of the least terrible team won this one. For the first time, I'm going to do a double header because both of these matches were pretty short and I liked both of them. Plus, I've got one loss and one win, and I don't want to just show wins to you know, make people think that I'm just super cherry picking everything. This mech can still do pretty well uh, in, in most any situation. So the uh, match is just going to be a little bit boring for the first part, I'm sorry to say. It's, you know walking up to the battlefield in a 100 ton mech, you know, you're kind of looking around. The match does kind of show how badly it's going to go very early on, because we've got that disconnect. You can see the yellow icon on my mini-map, that is uh, a heavy mech um, icon, and the yellow indicates that they uh, are a disconnect. And very, very quickly here, Acquired. one of our guys uh, yeah, right where I'm looking. A no squish. He says he found all their lights and they take him down in short order. So now we're, you know, we were at 11 versus 12 and now we're at 10 versus 12. Sorry, my boys. Bye, Fortunately, my team is not super speedy, so I'm actually kind of able to keep up. I have a relatively large engine in this thing. Yeah, so I flank in from behind. New target acquired. One thing about the Atlas uh, is that it's got kind of uh, a bad setup for having large weapons, just because your most of your weapon mounts are in the side torsos, and. So you can't fit, for example, two large ballistic weapons because they're both going on the same side. Uh, so you wind up having to mount kind of smaller weapons or just one, you know, ballistic or something like that. So basically that winds up with, you know, you having kind of mediocre firepower on the Atlas and uh, generally a, a good sized engine for the Atlas, but because it's an Atlas, it's still going to be slow. So since that, uh, I was going after that guy, uh, but he was killed before I got there. So I turn around and I immediately see the piranha and start crossing my fingers that he doesn't come after me. This little a Charlie too. kind of uh, hill is an, inter an interesting spot. It's a choke point, but it also provides a lot of cover. So a lot of fights tend to happen here as well. The enemy force is kind of raining down on us. Um, since I've got two other assaults with me, I decide, you know, we should definitely go ahead and push uh, push up. And one of those assaults is the Mad Cat Mark II Bravo, and it's piloted by a guy that, if I'm not mistaken, is a pretty good pilot, but he just walks up and overheats himself to death. So now I'm staring at, you know, about three of their guys solo. But welcome to the part of the match that I really enjoyed. So first of all, I was looking at all these targets around me and I realized this guy is a pure LRM boat. So I'm gonna go punish him for packing nothing but missiles. And then I know there's a smaller mech behind me that's just blasting me with SRMs. That's why my back is open and I'm orange on you know my various torsos. Uh, he just shot me again and destroyed my missile launcher. But I've still got enough firepower to take out the Orion in front of me. And I've been so tunnel visioned on my targets, I didn't even realize the rest of my team had pretty much fallen over at this point. So now it's just me versus this Arctic wolf that's been just blasting me in the back. So I decide to try and do what I can, you know, when you're the last guy, just go ahead and overheat. Um, but it just wasn't enough. He blew up too many of my weapons. So I go down. 
Really this match went fairly badly, but I still managed to get a couple of kills, dealt almost 600 damage, and absorbed 811 damage. So uh, if you want to be a wall for your allies to stand behind, I can definitely recommend the Atlas DDC.